dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials. A warm welcome to all the students who are appearing for ICSC examination. Okay students, so now you have your physics examination on 5th of March. So I am here to share with you some tips and tricks to be followed in order to gain full marks in physics. Yes, it's very very easy to get full marks in physics and let me show you how you will do that. Before going for tips and tricks, let me first give you a quick uh, recap on the on the format of the paper. See, a uh, physics paper is of 80 marks. As you all know, it's for 2 hours. Now, section A, which is compulsory, consists of 4 questions. Now, each question is divided into A, B, C, D, E, 5 parts. And each part has 2 marks. Each part, ca part carries 2 marks. So, the total of 10 marks for one question, similarly 10 marks for all the 4 questions. So, first section comprises of 4 questions carrying 10 mark each, so 40 marks here. Now, in section 2, okay, you will be having question from 5 to 10, that is total of 6 questions out of which you have to attempt any 4. Now, in section 2, each question will be divided into 3 parts, A, B and C. A will carry 3 marks, B will carry 3 marks and C will carry 4 marks. So, one question contains 10 marks. So, similarly all the rest question contains 10 marks. So, you have to do any 4 questions. So, 4 into 10, 40. So, this way section 2 is also 40 marks. Now, let's come on to tips and tricks that you will follow in order to study well for the exam. Now kids, you have all these 11 chapters for your examination, okay? So on 1st of March, that is when you come today from your exam, okay? After your history exam, when you come home today, take your lunch, feel fresh and then start studying, okay? So on 1st of March, I would suggest you to do, to take a full shape sheets, write down the definitions, formulas, and units of all the physical quantities that have come in that particular chapter. So you will take up chapter 1 for example, you will take up chapter 4, write the heading first, write all the formulas, first write all the definitions, then write all the formulas and then write the SI unit or the CGS unit, both units simultaneously take off, off all the physical quantities. So you will write, you will make 3 columns, okay. Three things you will make in each chapter. First, definition. Second, you will write the formulas. And third, you will write all the units of all the physical quantities. Okay. This way, you will prepare the charts for each and every chapter today itself. Okay. Now, on second and third, you will do the detailed study of chapters. Now, in the description box, I have given you links of all the important topics that can come. Okay, I have, for example, I have discussed all the numericals of calorimetry, how to solve the numericals of calorimetry very easily, okay, because there is a lot of marks allotted to numericals of calorimetry. Then, for example, I have discussed how to make the diagrams lens from refraction chapter, okay, and many other videos I have uploaded, you can see, check the description box. So, on second and third, you will do the detailed study of all the chapters. You will divide it into 6 and 5 and you will finish the chapters on 2nd and 3rd which is very easy and very doable task. Okay, In 2 days you can easily do all the 11 chapters, read word by word everything given in your textbook. Okay, Now on 4th, on 4th you will start doing the actual numericals. Okay, on Full 4th, 4th you will do numericals of all the chapters. Now students, it is very easy to cover numericals of all the chapters in one day because in many of the topics, there are no numericals at all. So you will be able to do numericals. Anyways, on second and third, when you are doing the detailed study of chapters, you will read all the solved numericals also. So it will become very easy and if you watch my videos, you will be able to do most of the numericals very easily. So on fourth, you will do numericals throughout the day. In the night before sleeping, just do a quick revision of the chapters as well. Now, on 5th morning when you get up, when you have to give your exam on 5th morning. 
on fifth morning what you will do you will take out those sheets that you had prepared on first okay take out the sheet of formulas definitions and units and give it a quick recap also wherever you have done the numericals the solved numericals wherever you have done a fourth take out that sheets and give it a quick read so this way you will be thoroughly prepared for your exam and you will not face any nervousness now moving further i want to discuss the way you will write your paper your answer sheet because many of the students i have seen make mistakes while writing the answers so i'll just show you the way it has to be done in the exam and the tips and tricks that you should follow so that even if you don't know a particular question for example you have got a numerical of 3 marks and you don't know anything about that numerical you have forgotten everything still you can score one and a half marks in that numerical also how to do that let me tell you now students first of all i'll tell you how to write the question numbers because many a times i have checked the papers and students have written wrong question numbers and in the wrong way and i have cut the whole marks so let's see how to do it now suppose you are attempting question number 1 okay so you will write question 1 outside the margin okay and if you are attempting a part of question number 1 you will write 1 a everything outside the margin a should not be in the inside the margin so whatever question number are there in the question paper has to be outside the margin now i have seen many students do like this question 1 a on the next page they directly do b they do not write one again you have to write one again okay so when even if it is on the next page you will write one b you will always write one c okay so everywhere this number has to be repeated because many a times what do you do you staple it wrong or you um, change the order at that time it becomes very difficult for the examiner to find out whether this b belongs to question number a question number 1 or question number 2 or question number 3 so everywhere you have to write 1a 1b 1c okay one more thing after you have finished question number 1 all a b c d e you even if see if this is a page and you have finished here leave this place empty and start your question number 2 from next page because when the examiner give marks for one question he will give the marks here in column below okay at the end they total the marks of uh, this column so please do not continue your next question in the same page always start your next question from the next page even if you have used only three or four lines of that page just leave that page and start the question from another page right one more thing if you are making any subheadings for example in question number 6a they have asked you two to three things okay so if you are writing 6 a here okay and you have to divide your answer in three parts ab yahi pe 1 2 3 nahi likhenge there will not there should not be any number here which is not a part of question okay which is not a part of question paper so what you will do you have to make three points okay make bulleted points inside to separate the three points or you can write 1 2 3 or abc or this number anything but i would suggest to avoid numbering in the answer sheet other than the numbers given in the question paper so don't do any extra numbering which is not there in the question paper just if you want to separate three points make three bulleted points and leave line after each section of the question suppose 6a is divided into three parts you will not write it in paragraph okay for one part you will write the answer leave two lines then lines write second part leave two lines and then write leave more lines so that the examiner can differentiate between three different points okay leave as many lines as possible after, even after each question for example 6a 6b 6c so after 6a you can leave few lines after 6b leave four five lines after 6c leave four five lines because in the end you might need to add something okay when you are checking you realize something is wrong you can write something at the back uh, below it 
okay so leave four five lines after each and every question okay next tip and very important tip that i want to give you is when you have been given a numerical and you go blank okay aapko bilkul samajh nahi aa raha hai is numerical mein hame kya karna hai so first of all what you will do you will identify from which chapter it is that you can easily do okay now you will have to identify it is related to what topic in the chapter accordingly for example if you have been asked some question of current current electricity write all the possible formulas that you know of that chapter okay you will write all the formulas and in the end whatever physical quantity has been asked to calculate you will write like this answer or solution is equal to leave a blank and suppose you have been asked current so you will write the unit ampere here suppose you have been asked volts so you will write the unit here because in the final answer there is half mark for your unit and there is one mark for formula so you get these marks even though you don't do anything in the sum the one thing i would like to add is if you don't know anything about a theory question please don't leave it empty okay do not leave any question unattempted write anything that you know of that topic you never know this was what the examiner was looking for do not hesitate to write anything that you know about that topic and i i'm sure you'll do well please follow all the tips and tricks that i've shown in this video do not leave anything empty and please follow all the videos that i've made because i've not covered all, full chapter i have covered the topics that will be asked in the examination okay for example the how you will draw the ray diagram very easily how you will solve any numerical of calorimetry very easily so these are few of the videos that i have made please go through all of them and share it with your friends all the best if you have any issue any problem in physics please write in the comment box and i'll be more than happy to help you out so all the best students